Hey, Steve Bizzik Architect. Yeah, we're outside. Yeah, it's the upper house. I believe that's the library. Pretty cool cantilever on that building there. But, uh, yeah. Beautiful Carrera Marble Plaza. Let's see there. It's, uh, you know, if you're wondering why, I don't know. I'm not the architect, but if I had to guess, I would say Carrera Marble is probably the closest thing we can come to in a material that looks like ice that isn't ice. And given that, you know, the whole appeal of this building is kind of to be this glacier kind of icebergy type feel. Let's do a quick shot here. We'll definitely shoot some more video from being further along. A nice walkway space there. And obviously that ramp is one that goes all the way up to the top. You can see there's people up there. But uh, the thing that I wanted to point out while we were down here is the fact that this is the entryway to the Opera House. It is not some giant flamboyant space. It's likened to, you know, if I was going into some, say, cave or crevice in an iceberg, like this thing is pretty well you know, small scale. You can see there some people walking by. I mean, that's, it's probably about seven and a half feet, maybe, um, to the underside. And obviously all the revolving doors, but uh, it leads to that beautiful open space there. Check out the video I shot inside. But, uh, you know, just very cool. It's got this glass wall. It's kind of a very, unassuming front entry and simple, simple opera title there. So, all right, we'll shoot some more out here. So here's a really cool detail. You know, we have that upward sloping ramp, but dealing with water and how do you manage it? So, building science of a beautiful building and how that uh, takes all the water off of that wall and as it drips you can see forms a nice little drip line there but then drains right down into that gutter and the water that comes down the ramp I believe just deals with it so I would not been privy to the drawings of this, but I'd be really interested to understand. This is all Carrera marble. And in a couple places where we found some drains, it looks like it's probably on the order of about two inches, two and a quarter inches. And uh, there is obviously a sea of it. And uh, it'd be interesting to see how it drains. There are some linear drains but they're somewhat sporadic and i don't quite understand the logic behind them you can see it like here's one of them you can see that that line is a little wider and that is in fact a drain line so there is a dedicated space there but it only stops probably about 40 feet away and then there's a lot more plaza and there's some other areas of it. The other thing that I've noticed here that they have a lot in their public buildings is notice these uh, beads or kind of raised areas and we did figure out what they're to. So you can see this one It pretty much goes out there and then connects over to the street. But if we follow it along here, you'll notice that it goes up and it goes right to the handicapped 
post there. And so it is to assist a blind person in finding the connection from the public street to the front entryway here as they use their walking stick. It'll, uh, it'll find these raised surfaces, but it'll allow them to uh, walk in a nice straight line right to the front entryway there. Of course, there's the front entryway. It's a uh